As a reward for their help over the last few weeks, Mum Amanda is taking Pony Mad Edith and Violet to a once a year event, an hour and a half's drive from the farm. We're heading to Appleby Horse Fair. Everyone's very excited. The kids oh, are there's some horses. Yeah, there's some horses like tied up at the side of the road. Oh, look at that white horse, that whitey brandy horse. Yeah. yeah. And that brown one. Palomino. You know, with nine children, they're not all going to have the same, the same likes and dislikes. So, you know, if I said, hey, there's a motorbike trial on at the bottom of the dale, it's highly unlikely that Edith and Violet would be at the front of the queue wanting to go. Yeah. But Reuben and Sydney probably would. So, so we've limited it to, to two. And Edith and Violet were the most keen to come and, and um, look at the tack and the horses. We'll go straight up this way, come on. You've got no road sense, come on. Appleby Fair is an annual celebration of gypsy culture, where travellers gather to buy and sell all manner of horse paraphernalia. Look at all these collars. And some of them are like for really big horses and some of them are for loud horses. It's a great atmosphere, it's fantastic, everyone's really friendly. It's a tradition, you know, it's been going on for a thousand years. And that's why this is allowed, because apparently there was a charter written all that time ago that said, first week of June every year, this is where the gypsies, the Romani people can meet and have their fair. We're going to head up that way because we haven't been up that way yet, and then we're going to go onto the flashing lane and see if anyone's showing off the horses. By racing up and down the flashing lanes at high speeds, as is the tradition of the fair, sellers showcase their stock. Oh, look at these coming, look at these. How do they go so fast? How do they go so fast? They've been trained. This is what they've been trained to do. They've been trained to trot really fast so they look good and show people what you've got. And it's up for sale. Yours for the right money. There's no finer place to find a new pony. And as Joe, the family's 35-year-old Shetland, is nearing retirement, a little herd has caught the girl's eye. Can we buy a horse? I'm always thinking about a replacement for little Joe. Yeah. Look at that one, Mum. This is a filly. This is a filly. This is a gelding. Which one do you want? Filly, filly and a gelding. So that's good, that's good, that's good. I really like this one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I think it's a bonnier. How much do how much you want him? We asked him 300, we'll take 250 for him. 250. Oh, we just bought it? Yeah. We just bought it? Oh, you've got my bag. Have we just bought it? Yes. Yes! yes. Oh, I know. Oh, no. Yes. You can blow money on iPads, phones, and look at what they've got. I don't take them shopping. Don't do all sorts of things. They've got some uh, that they really like, and, and it'll give them, hopefully, years of pleasure and happiness. I would say everyone's happy, but I can imagine that someone is not going to be happy. Dad doesn't want another horse, even for uh, putting Joe down. But we didn't. Um, he didn't. He said you can't bring a, you can't buy a horse if you don't have a trailer. But we've just bought one, so we can. We didn't plan this well. I wonder what Dad's gonna think. You wonder what it's gonna go mental. Oh, what am I gonna tell? Cla I've got to get Land Rover yet. Where to, Mum? Just keep going. Just walk down the road. You're fine. Now then, I hope you're feeling strong. Uh, not really. <laughs> Right. Well, that, the, a quarter of the car is just the size of it. OK. Well, it'll fit in. I have no doubt about that. We just need him... Getting in. Need him up there. Right, let's see how heavy it is for a start. Right, one of you, I think one of you needs to get in here and hold the lead rope. Right, climb up. Climb up. Right, get in. Right, Edith, you come to this side. Right, now, don't let go. Keep hold. Right, come on, come on. You go to the other side. Let's see how let's see how heavy it is. Right, pull, 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 pull. Right, come on. Get his leg up. Get his leg up. Come on, come on. Get his leg up. 
Whoa! Whoa! Now, come on, that get his leg up. That If we can get him up there like that. Come on. Again? Come on. Go around to that side, Edith. Come on. Get his leg up. Whoa! Right. He wants to get it. Right, come on, get him in. Let him pull in. In you get. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd have done that before. He jumped in. Oh my God. That was hilarious, I can't believe it. I'm just making sure that that little blue pony is secure and can't go anywhere. Look how quiet your little pony is. Huh? Look at him. Huh? Yeah. Do you think he's excited or do you think he's scared? A bit scared, probably. Do you realise what a lucky little pony he is? After the long ride home, Amanda and the girls are excited to reveal their spur-of-the-moment purchase to unsuspecting Dad Clive. We've bought loads of stuff. And we bought a horse. What? <laughs> you bought what? We bought a horse. I told, what did I tell you, Lord? What did you Not to do. It's in the buy a horse, you can't buy a horse. You haven't got a trailer on, on, so you can't have bought a horse. It's you haven't got back. a trailer. It's in the back. It's, it's in what? the back. I knew you weren't to be trusted. I knew it was a bad idea sending you to blooming Appleby. Oh my god. Oh my god, look in there. There is a bloody horse. How old is he? Hey. Years old. And is it broken to ride and drive? You can, and, uh, you can walk it, oh. you can ride it, you can put yeah, cart on yeah, it. I'm sure you can. And it's really well yeah, behaved. Yeah, and it jumps through flaming Miles, hoops. I bet it does. Miles, come I bet they told you it, there was nothing it didn't do. Well done. Hell, look at that. It's a handy size. Could be worse. You could have bought a race horse. to be out here. Let's have it in house and have a look at it. Woo! Come on in, little horse. Yeah. Are you going to look after it? Give it carrots? Yeah. Well. As even Clive seems happy with the latest addition to the family, all that's left to do is settle him into his new home. Come on, horsey. Come on, boy. Now we'll just take everything off him. Just take that off. Whoop, and we're done. Come on, Sprout. <laughs> it's Sunday morning, and the girls are excited to get to know Tony, their brand new Shetland pony. Yeah! Come on, Tony. Amanda is delighted the girls have inherited her love for horses, and this morning she's with one of her favourites. She's got an absolutely lovely nature. <laughs> yeah, haven't you? Nothing phases her. You can talk to her. She's got a nice, kind way with her. And your princess. Three-year-old Clemmy, having learned about all things horsey from big sister Raven, is having her first riding lesson. Right, are you ready to jump on? That. So, to make him walk, go walk on. Walk on. Walk on. How's that? Good. Waving. Yeah. Uh, this is nice. Good. Walk on. Come on, Tony. Walk on. 